you been doing all morning? Sitting here drinking coffee. Are you awake yet? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> More or less. I was up till six o'clock. Why were you doing that? OCD. Did you get anything accomplished at least? A few things. Good morning everybody! I trust you all, or I hope you all had a fabulous night's sleep. <laughs> I was up till 6 a.m. waiting for the vlog to go up, and I should never do that because as soon as I sit down at that computer and I wait for a vlog to go up, I start moving files around and organizing files, and before I know it, both vlogs are up, and it's 6 o'clock, and I'm still up moving files. Crazy woman. It's my OCD. And being one-handed, I can't do too many OCD things. <laughs> so, I'm able to do that. Do you all want to know why I was doing the happy dance yesterday? Do you? Huh? Do you? Well, we're going to show you right now. Hey, guys. <clears throat> We're back from the hospital, and it's just been such a long day. It was a long drive home. Uh, it was. Here we are again. And here we are again. So, you guys, I want we want to tell you the results. No, no it's a disease. <laughs> That's right, Mom's Vlog 80 texted me last night, or yesterday afternoon, and Elijah, our superhero, has no evidence of disease right now. Go over and watch Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, and give that a huge thumbs up. Show them your support. Leave a wonderful comment. That is like the best news right now that I could have gotten. I was crying yesterday with joy and I'm tearing up right now just watching that video and seeing how happy they they are. Melody, Ronnie, Caden, and Elijah, I hope you guys are watching this and we love you so very much and we are so extremely happy for you guys and Thumbs up to you all. Okay, so we're off. Yeah, they already knew that, so. <laughs> so we're off and running. Off to see the, anybody who has food. Because <laughs> we're hungry. There's nothing in the house. And the clouds, look, well there's stuff in the house, we just don't feel like <laughs> making it. The clouds it look. looks like rain. Can I say something, please? Oh, no. The clouds look like rain. <laughs> I told you Kevin talks too much. He never lets me get a word in itchwise. You just say everything wrong. Why? Because I was going to say the clouds look like rain. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Just repeating me. No, I was going to say the clouds look like rain. And you could, it looks like rain. I know that's what I said. But you, I was about to say it. Say so. Jeepers creepers. Man, oh man, look at those clouds. What a beautiful day. Is that better? <laughs> okay. She likes it gloomy. I the, do. We're I like the, We're the Adams family. <laughs> we are the Adams family, Gomez. <laughs> Cut <-a> me <laughs> <laughs> I'd give you my arm to kiss, but it's kind of uh, tied up at the moment. <laughs> well, you haven't said any French, so I don't feel any. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I think it means thank you. Passez mes coulants. 
<laughs> that sounds dirty. What was that? <laughs> it is dirty. <laughs> you gotta cut that. It's gonna cost you. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's in English or not. It's dirty. Hey, it was worth a dollar in the cuss jar. <laughs> Is that and French? I think I even said it wrong. Probably. <laughs> so finally got your Betty Faye. You've been working on this for weeks now. I have not been here in months. I miss this place. This is my favorite cafe in Corona. Anybody who lives close by, if you have not been here, it will become an issue to be come here. It is amazing. The food is great, the service is great, the people are great. Love this place. Two thumbs up, but I can't give you the... Two thumbs up. This is the best corned beef and hash ever. Corned beef and hash, eggs over easy, and hash browns. What'd you get, babe? Eggs over medium, bacon, and some taters. And you can't have any of my bacon. No bacon for you. Want a bet? Man. So, we decided we think we want to try and go somewhere today. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day for it, so uh, it's probably the best time to go. Uh, there is a uh, story about a, a haunted... Is it a ranch house or a mansion? I think it's, they call it a ranch house. That belonged to the Ganahl family. The Ganahl family is kind of big in this area. Uh, owners of Ganahl Lumber. And uh, there was a house at the top of Main Street that uh, burned down. And uh, I'll have to figure out when that happened. But um, supposed to be haunted. The house was haunted before it was burned down. And they claim that it's, the area is still haunted. So we're going to see how close we can get without getting arrested. And uh, hopefully we can get close enough to show something. It's a place that um, I know people have gone and done small investigations at. It's something that if we can eventually, we can't obviously tonight, today, we're not prepared. Um, if we can get close enough to it today and not get into any trouble, that we may look into bringing our equipment and going there one night and sitting and just doing some EVPs and, and some camera work and stuff just to see what we can catch there. Outdoor investigations are kind of hard because you do pick up a lot of outside noises, but we wouldn't. We would give it a try if we could. So we're gonna check it out. Get, get in the picture more. Okay. <laughs> oh come on! They deserve a bigger oh, ring than that. Please, survive. Ah. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> it's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Hey, don't talk about me like that. Are you snoring? Not at the moment. Well, then how do you know I was talking about you? Every time you talk about the old man, I know who you're talking about. I didn't say my old man is snoring. I said the old man is snoring. And the difference is? There's a lot of the old mans in the world. There's only one, my old man. And my old man would be you. So anyway, we just finished having lunch at my favorite little cafe, Betty Faye's. And now we are riding up to the very tippy top of Main Street to where it comes to a complete end. And we are going to look for the Ganole Lumber Citrus Ranch. the 
top of Corona. And as you can see, these trees up here have been charred. So at some point, they have been on fire. Hello, everybody. You're on the wrong side. You're going to confuse Michelle. I was sitting here first. You came in and sat there. It's right in front of the camera. Where else am I going to sit? You could have asked me to move over. Well, why'd you sit there? I just came in and sat down. All right, move on. Sorry, Michelle, if this confuses you. It's his fault. I hope you all enjoyed joining us for breakfast today and had a nice little trip with us on our adventure. And... Hope you guys all hit that little thumbs up button and like this video and hit the little red subscribe button that's down there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where to point, but I know it's there. And what are you doing? Nothing. Continue. And <laughs> that you share this video with your family and friends because who knows? They might need some sleep too. Very good. He's making fun of me back here, isn't no. he, guys? We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye.